Hi again, everybody. I'm Freezing Inferno, and welcome back to Zelda 2. So the next area of interest is Death Mountain. And oh my god. This place certainly lives up to its name. It's just a nightmare of a dungeon area, full of lots of deadly monsters, and it's kind of a maze, too, and it'll put the fear of God in a lot of people. Even me, and I'm the one saying this game isn't as bad as it's made out to be. But before we do that, we have to find a specific tile up in this forest, because there's a person there. But to do that, we have to fight through these hopping enemies. The tile we want is just north of here. So what sort of crazy person is living in the middle of a monster-infested forest? This type of crazy person. So now we have a note for a river man, which is the way to Death Mountain. Now, if you didn't know to come here automatically, there is a hint, which we'll show off once we get to the actual town, but... I, I know about it in advance, so I figured, why not just get it now while I'm at it? Oh, this bridge. These enemies right here, these boneheads, ugh. They shoot rocks, sometimes. They fly up like this. And if they hit you, they steal experience. They are not a fun enemy. But, here's our next step. Oh look, another sage name. Now, what are the eyes of Ganon, exactly? Well, remember those townspeople, the ones that contribute absolutely nothing? Now some of them turn into monsters! Isn't that grand? Thankfully, this only happens in, like, two towns in the game. Well, this suspiciously sounds like a fetch quest for a magic spell. We're gonna have to hunt high and low for that mirror. That was needlessly easy. Yeah, some of these fetch quests are really simple, like the item will be two feet away from the person asking for it. Kind of simple, but then again, it makes getting those magic spells that much easier. And let me tell you, this magic is great. You can beat the game without it, and I've beaten the game without this magic and shield magic before, but I'm going to get this anyway, because it's really, really good. If you're going to go to Death Mountain, you are going to want the hell out of this spell. Because it's healing magic. And it costs so much MP, but it's so worth it, and you're going to use it a lot, especially in the late game, because this game can get brutal with the monsters, and they're very, very strong, and you're going to need this healing. So be sure to grab this. So now we're pretty much all set for Death Mountain. All we have to do now is heal up and walk to the left of it, and there we go. Now, Midoro Swamp is the location of the second palace, which you can do before Death Mountain, but we're gonna get Death Mountain out of the way. This lady in orange is gonna be in every town except for the first one. She's like the healer lady, except she heals in magic. Essential, because you're going to be casting a lot of magic in this game. This blob seems completely pointless, but if you pester it a few times, it rewards you with a clue. This is the clue for Bagu, so it's kind of vague, but at the same time it's kind of not. You can figure it out pretty easily, I think. But then again, it is kind of tricky. I'll admit that. And here's the fabled Riverman. We show our note automatically, and he'll make our bridge. It's like magic! So we're coming up to Death Mountain, the first truly rough area of the game. Oh, it doesn't get much harder than this until the end game. Trust me. We're gonna save Death Mountain for next time, because I think it deserves its own video. We've done a little bit, so I'll see you next time.